The National Institute for Communicable Diseases has called on clinicians to be on alert for measles cases after an outbreak in children between the ages of 11 months to 11 years was detected in the Sikukuni district of Limpopo. The NICD says there are also large measles outbreaks occurring in sub-Saharan Africa. Let's discuss this development with uh, Dr. Nishi Prabhdial Singh from the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. Doctor, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Thanks for joining us here on ENCA. So how widespread is this uh, outbreak of measles in Limpopo or is it still, still contained in the Sikukuni district? It's still contained in the Sikukuni district. Um, but as you know that um, uh, measles is, uh, it can spread quite rapidly through airborne droplets of saliva and mucus and through sneezing. So it's highly contagious when one person can actually transmit the virus to about 12 people. Uh, so within hours, a community or a school that's not well uh, vaccinated, can, the virus can spread quite rapidly through these populations. So what measures um, can people take? So, sorry, sorry, Dr. Pradhyal Singh, what measures can people take to prevent the spread? So the initial measure is vaccination. I think people should just check their road to health cards. They should vaccinate their children, should make sure that their children get the two doses of uh, measles vaccine. Um, some of the precautions, if a child is presenting with uh, signs and symptoms of measles, to make sure that the child is taken to the nearest healthcare facility to get diagnosed and tested quickly. Uh, the child should be isolated from other family members so that to contain the spread of the virus. Can you vaccinate when you're sick? So within three days of exposure to a, a, a sick child, you, you should be, uh, you know, you can get vaccinated for, uh, for measles. Uh, but once you have the virus, you should, uh, your, your body should have immunity against the virus. And uh, after 14 days, you should start seeing some recovery. Yeah, I'm just wondering because we, we are hearing that uh, elsewhere in Sub-Saharan Africa, there have also been, been outbreaks. Is this normal or is it because people have not vaccinated their kids? So the vaccine coverage in South Africa and in Sub-Saharan Africa hasn't been optimal. Um, and that's partly due to the lockdown and the pandemic in these countries. Uh, so the call out is to improve on vaccination coverage in all areas uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa and in South Africa. Yeah, so you as an NICD, are you monitoring uh, if um, as we speak, uh, the, from, from Limpopo, it could spread elsewhere. Are you checking other areas? Are they likely to be, to be other hotspots? At the moment, we, oh, yeah, we, we, do, we do a surveillance of all provinces in the country and all districts uh, are monitored very closely. Uh, but yes, we have uh, an outbreak response team uh, looking at uh, Limpopo specifically. Okay, so so the main thing then to do, uh, uh, doctor, is uh, vaccination. That's the main message you, you you are spreading, and you 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 people must listen to and and start acting. And if you haven't vaccinated, you better go and get get your child vaccinated. Absolutely, especially if they haven't been vaccinated uh, before, please check their uh, their road to health cards. Schools and um, and clinics should also do that and make sure that uh, all the kids should have received the two doses at six and um, at 12 months of age. I should have asked you this earlier. How do you know if your child has got measles? Okay, so the first primary thing is fever and this uh, rash that spreads through all through the body, um, starting at the head and going down the neck and the trunk and to the limbs. Um, and then other things are, of course, the cough, the runny nose, um, and the, as I said, fever. So yeah, those are the main symptoms that one should look for. And, uh, you know, sometimes they present with red eyes and, you know, the child is, is usually does present with a sick, sickness. Yeah, and the similar symptoms with adults. Yes, very similar in adults, um, and they should should report to a healthcare facility. Okay, thank to get you very, tested. No, thank you very much for your time. That's uh, Dr. Nishi Prabhdial Singh from the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. Thankfully, 
at this stage, the measles outbreak is still contained in the Sikukuna district of Limpopo. The main message is check your vaccination status. Your children, if you have not vaccinated against measles, please do so immediately. And uh, they try to contain it there, but they are monitoring the rest of, um, of the country. Coverage of measles vaccination has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. But now we are sort of uh, over the, the worst. You should look at uh, vaccinating against other diseases as well that uh, are like measles.